Our focus standard for this lesson comes from Grade 7, Expressions and Equations, Standard A. Use properties of operations to generate equivalent expressions. Our topic continues to be from simplifying expressions and equations, intro to combining like terms. Our essential question is, what are like terms and how do we combine them to simplify expressions? Please take a moment pausing the video if you need to, to copy down the topic and the central question in your header along with today's date, so of your question column and your note column, and resume the video when you're ready to begin. Just to start out, combining like terms is the topic for today's lesson, and this is a very introductory, introductory lesson. Um, combining means to add like terms are matching items in an expression or an equation. Um, we usually think about them as expressions and do each part of the equation separately. And so combining like terms means to add matching items together to simplify an expression and be one way to define it. A few guidelines to follow when we're combining like terms. I have three of them here for us. Constants, which are terms without variables are always considered like terms. So constants are just when we see a number without a letter written next to it. And those are constants, also sometimes referred to as units. And if you have more than one group of just numbers without variables in the expression, then you want to combine those because they're considered like terms. Terms with variables must be must use the same letter to be combined. So in our last video we talked about the expression, the term and the expression 2x. And I couldn't take 2x and com combine it with something like 3y because x and y are different letters and so that means a different thing and I can't combine them. This is a little side note more for when you're in eighth grade doing this and we might see a little bit of it though so I've included it here. When you're combining terms with variables, not only do they have to have the same letter to be combined, the letter has to have the same exponent when applicable. So we'll talk about that more as we see it, and we won't see any of that today. And then the third point in guidelines for combining like terms is that constant terms are written last in a simplified expression. So we're combining like terms to be able to simplify an expression, and so as we're writing, rewriting it, we want to make sure that those constant terms, or the units, or the terms without any letters in them, are the last term that we write in the expression. So thinking, I know that's a lot of just like abstract thoughts, so let's practice, um, we're going to practice four of them today, kind of following these guidelines as we go. So here are our first two expressions. Um, let's focus here on this one on the right. We have the expression 8 plus 3c plus 2. There's no equal sign, so that is an expression. And think about how many terms does this expression have? Well, there's 1, which is 8. The second one is 3c, that's a term. And the third term is 2, right? They're separated by the plus or subtraction sign. There's three groups. And so this is a three-term expression. So we want to look for things that are the same. So I think it's a good idea to always have highlighters when you're doing combining like terms. I would highlight the 8 and the 2, and because I'm going to combine 8 plus 2, because those are the terms that are constants. They don't have any variables in them. I'm going to leave 3c alone because there isn't any other term in this expression that has the letter c in it. And so if I was to rewrite this, then I'm going to write it as 3c plus 10 because 8 plus 2 is 10. Nothing was combined with 3c. And the last one says constant terms are written last in a simplified expression. So I've made sure that the term of the numbers is last. So 
if I was to simplify 8 plus 3c plus 2, which is 3 terms, I can simplify it down to 2 terms by combining the constants. What do you think for number 2? Well, we have the we have 3 terms, 6a plus 5a plus 5. And let's see, we have two terms that have a variable in them, and we have one constant term. And the important thing to notice is that the terms with the variables in them, that is the same letter. They're both using a. So we're going to combine 6a plus 5a, because those are the same. There's nothing to combine with 5, so I'm going to leave the constant term 5, so I'm going to leave that alone. And pause the video for a minute if you need to, but write down here what is the equivalent expression, or the simplified expression, to 6a plus 5a plus 5. If you wrote down 11a plus 5, I would agree with you, because 6 a's and 5, adding 5 more a's, so that would give us a total of 11 a's. And then we have the constant term 5. 5 is a constant, there's no letter with it, so it's written last in our simplified expression. So again, we took a, an expression that was three terms, we combined two of the terms that were alike, and simplified it down to two terms. 11a is a term, and the constant term 5. Let's do two more. So for number 3, we have negative 7x plus 4, subtract 12. So what I'd like you to do here is pause and highlight or circle the terms in this expression that you think are the same, and let's see if we agree. So if you highlighted the two constant terms, 4 and the subtract 12, then I would agree. Those are two constant terms. We have the 4 and the 12 here. And we would not include negative 7x because that is a term with a number and a variable, and we can't combine those with constants. So now, what does it look like as a simplified expression? We're going to keep the negative 7x, but now we have a plus 4, right? So we know, so we know it's now it's going to be plus. And then we have 4 subtract 12. Well, what is 4 subtract 12? 4 subtract 12 going back to our integers unit is going to be negative 8. So this expression, negative 7x plus 4 subtract 12, is going to simplify to negative 7x plus negative 8. This last one gives us a little bit more to think about. So for number 4, we have negative 9 plus r plus 15 plus 7r plus 13j. So a good idea is to start out by highlighting or drawing shapes around things that are the same. Is there anything that would be, if I highlight negative 9, is there anything else that I could highlight with it? So negative 9 is a constant term. Are there any other constant terms? I see one more right here for positive 15. So I would highlight negative 9 and positive 15 as like terms. Are there any other constant terms that we can highlight? No. So there are some other like terms, but there aren't any more constant terms. So I like to then switch colors. So I'm going to switch from using blue to let's use yellow. So now let's look at these. We have three terms left, r, 7r, and 13j. And we're like terms that involve variables have to have the same letter represented. So that means I could highlight this r, and I can highlight the 7r, because those are two terms that use the same variable. So there, 7r and r are the same in like terms, but they're not like terms, like these constants. So I did the different color. And is there anything that has a j in it besides this 13j? Nope, that's our last term. So we've done all the highlighting of like terms. Now we just need to write it as a simplified expression. 
So I'm going to start with the R's because, and I'm going to save the constant terms for last due to the guidelines from above. So if I have one R here and I add to it seven R's, I have a total of eight R. I can't forget to include this plus 13 J. There's nothing else to go with that, so I'm going to write that one. And now we can think about those blue terms. Negative 9 plus 15. What is negative 9 plus 15? Negative 9 plus 15 is a positive 6. So we combined the r terms, r and 7r, into 8r. We kept 13j as it was, because there was nothing else to add, anything else with j's to add to it. And then negative 9 plus 15 is equal to 6. So we took an expression that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms long, and we simplified it down to 3 terms. And that's as simplified as it gets. And we can double check. We have our constant term last, so it's simplified in the correct order. All right. And that's going to conclude our video for today.